Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Not So Berry Challenge. So I booted up the game and um, apparently Jasmine from one of the previous Sims events has returned with some delicious art with some delicious with a delicious proposition. Um, basically gardening, cooking um, is going to increase as well as art skills and then like hunger and hygiene decay less. I think. That's essentially what I got out of this. But anyway, it's a Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack. It's what this is promoting. And I am so excited. That comes out June 22nd. And we are right at the end of May. And it's just like, oh, that's just so nice. So nice indeed. But I have been essentially remodeling a lot of the worlds. Um, let me show you guys what I got going on. Um, Windenburg's pretty much completely remodeled, except for this area up here. But I basically just place down other buildings and stuff. So as we move across the worlds and stuff, uh, things will be a little bit more exciting. I even redid like the bluffs over here and everything. Um, we got Hogwarts, which uh, Hatsy YT made. So please go check that out because it's one of my favorite builds of all time. Then we got some like art centers and stuff over here as well. And I think there's one more that I have rebuilt. Was it Willow Creek? It might not have been in this game. No, it's not in this one. Okay, so in the other, I have two games going and stuff. I have like a private one and then this one for YouTube. And in my private one, I redid all of Willow Creek. But essentially off camera, I'll be slowly redoing all the worlds um, as far as like the lots and stuff. Just so it's not the same old, same old that you see everywhere else. It's a little bit more exciting. But we're going to, oh, do I not have my uh, custom content enabled? It's going to be really, really awkward. Oh, no, it's enabled. Oh, good lord. Oh, this is going to be interesting <laughs> to, see if, uh, to see if it keeps the custom content or not. Because, like, I had it turned off and stuff for the update and everything, and then I turned it back on. I think it just really full-on janked up my game. So, we're about to find out. Um... It's not a big deal to fix it if it is if it is all jankity. But anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> mainly just really excited to get back to this. I sorry that these videos are going up later and later each day. It's mainly because I started cooking um, and like learning how to cook. And when you cook, you have to like cook early on and just kind of like let it do its own thing, which usually takes like because right now I'm making a beef stew and that's gonna take like eight hours in the crock pot and I was like okay it's 10 in the morning if I start this now it'll be ready for dinner so that's kind of my oh what are we doing it's kind of my overall oh good my whole family is bald um it's my overall goal anyway I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fix this oh also I kind of since our lovely V is um a toddler now I just kind of added these cute little like toddler things and stuff she's got this adorable little bed like how cute and I've been leveling up her skills little by little. And then Floofs is doing well. Um, we're doing decent on money. Not super great. Actually, we're kind of doing terrible, to be honest. But I'm going to go fix their entire uh, issues with the custom content. And I will be right back. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit peeved. Look at this. Just deleted after deleted. <sighs> I think instead of just viewing this as a bad thing, which it is indeed, I am going to turn this into a makeover and show you guys at the end because that's kind of, uh, that's going to help me get through this because she has so many cute outfits and they're all gone. Yay, fix your game. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset. Okay, well, we can get her into more of like a mom aesthetic now instead of like a young adult just kind of like on her own. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so after about 15 minutes of that, we now have our Sim family again, and they're not bald, thank goodness. Um, Vivian's outfits are roughly the same. I did give her different hairstyles for each of the outfits, um, mainly just because I didn't last time, and she was just with the same one. This one's my favorite. Like, look how cute. Oh, she, oh, she's adorable. I can't get over her. And then sleep is just kind of the typical one. Oop. You're still bold in this outfit. Hold on. Let's fix that. Um, where is... I have to admit, this mod having the uh, four columns instead of just a two is super, super helpful. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. I actually just got that for this series. And then I was like, oh, this is actually really helpful. So then our main girl over here, Callie, uh, this is kind of more of a spicier outfit than I would picture a mom in. But like at the same time, it's very her and it's very like summery-esque I guess 
And then the second one is my favorite. Like, she just looks like a little bit badass. But at the same time, she's like, oh, gentle with the white and everything. And it just, oh. I've been watching a lot of Project Runway. And I like to pretend that I know what I'm talking about. But let's be real. And then her formal is my favorite. Like, look at this bombshell. Like, oh my god. Like, you would never know that she was a mom. Like, she's just a killing it. And I like that the black of the dress matches, like, the black of the beret as well. And it's just our beret. Not beret. Beret is the thing that, like, French people wear, right? Yes. Who oh boy. And then, like, I got lazy here. And I was like, she never, ever works out, so we'll just do that. And then sleep is kind of casual as well. Um, I changed up the robe color and just made it purple. Just because, like, I think it complements the mints pretty well. I didn't want her to have any mint clothes because I feel like it's overkill since she has like the mint hair and eyes. And then her party outfit is another bombshell look. Like she is absolutely killing it. And it's almost this ombre effect with like the light of the hair and then dips down into like the dark of the dress. Oh, beautiful. Swimwear, I got lazy as well and just kind of did the same thing that she was already in. And then the only thing that I changed for our dearly beloved Ignis was his hair. I feel like now he's older, he's going to be a little bit less, like, pristine with it and not really mine. Because he's taking care of a toddler or maybe another toddler in the future. Who knows? But that's essentially what I got going on for the family. And even though this is not really what I wanted to do this episode, uh, beggars can't be choosers. But I do want them to have another child. Um, I want to work a little bit more on Vivian's skills and stuff and get that worked out. And then have... Oh, are you cleaning, Agnes? What you doing, love? I want you to kind of go over here and work on her skills. Actually, oh boy. Well, how, how many days is it until... Okay. She just has a random toy in her inventory. Uh, where is her person? Okay, so she's got about six days to age up. This is perfect. So actually, you know, who hasn't spent a lot of time together is uh, Ignis and Callie. So maybe they could um, maybe they could spend a little, a little bit of time together while Vivian's just kind of doing her own thing. Um, profess undying love. Maybe get a, a little bit in the mood. I also don't know why these random, like, potion bottles just show up. I kind of gave up on, like, understanding what that means. And then maybe, like, Brighton Day as well. And then we're gonna get like, we're gonna get a little bit flirty in here, you know, just cause uh, we're ready to try for another kid. Even though Ignis is like the sole person taking care of Vivian, but that's fine. Uh, Kelly's kind of our main money maker, so I have her doing like brewing potions, or not, why do I keep calling them potions? They're like the little, what are they called? Oh goodness, um, we'll just ask her a question. The serums, that's what it is. Oh boy, took me a minute. Then maybe um, do like one more romantic action. Like just embrace, just see each other. Because they haven't seen each other in like days, to be fair. And oh, you're you're tired, love. But I kind of want you to watch some toddler videos and get that skill up. And then probably have you sleep. So if I usually have Ignis read her to bed. But like I think tonight Ignis is, Ignis is a little bit busy. Um, not to be a little bit uh, rated R. But we're going to try for baby. Oh, don't go anywhere, Ignis. You're not done yet. <laughs> Floofs, can you can you leave Floofs? This is uh this is a little awkward. We're about to we're about to woohoo and Floofs is right there. Oh no. Uh okay, good. Floofs Floofs knows what's going on. Floofs is gonna Oh, he's going all the way to Vivian's room. He's like, Oh look what mom and dad are doing. I'm traumatized. Yeah, I would be too. Oh, this is really cute. Like, look at them. Oh, oh. Well, it would help if Floofs actually turned back. Oh, <laughs> I just like the goofiness of that. I've also, like, I don't know why I take so many screenshots in this series. I just, like, first of all, I use them for thumbnails as well, so it's pretty nice. But, like, other than that, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's nice just to have them. Because sometimes I'll look back through my screenshot folder, and I'm just like, oh, look at my babies growing up. Like, look at them over here. They need to get pictures of Vivian as well. Because um, we just have floofs and then the main two. Oh, my God, look how different they look. Oh, they look so young in this. Oh, I feel like I'm such a parent, like a proud parent of these sims. Oh, cute. Okay, so I kind of want her to go over here and maybe maybe take the pregnancy test. Just, just kind of see what's going on. And then, ooh, Ignis, you're not doing well as far as skills go. Uh, why don't you take a break? Why don't you take a shower? It's okay, you guys have seen each other naked. You can, oh, yay, she is pregnant. Woo! Oh, that is exciting. But you've seen each other naked. You can pee and shower in the same room. It's fine. Oh, she's, she's already telling him. Oh, cute. 
Oh, can I get can I get a proper screenshot? There we go. Look at these cuties. Oh, that's so exciting! Look at her little baby bump already. That was very fast. That was like a five minute process. And uh, Callie, how are you doing, love? You're doing good. I'm gonna actually have you make some serums because we're gonna need to build an entire new nursery. Oh, oh, she is fussy. Oh, she's tired. Okay, ooh, why don't you go to bed then for for a temper tantrum? Okay, she already has a sleep thing, the sleep action going. Yeah, why don't you just, why don't you go to bed, love? You are not happy. Oh, just throw that on the ground. There you go. Oh, there. Okay. Can you get, can you get into bed? Okay, there you go. You're all good. Oh, just under the blankets. I like how there's this little black abyss <laughs> under these blankets. Like, it's not an actual bed. Like, you can definitely tell it's like an ob or a sim thing. Um, but why are you playing on the computer? Are you hungry? Go eat. Speaking of that, I actually haven't eaten lunch yet. And, oh yeah, I'm hungry too, Floos. Floos, you have food right here. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh my good lord. Taking care of children. Okay, and then, Ignis, I probably want you to go ahead and shower too. The shower's been a little bit glitchy since, uh, since the update, so I'm not a big fan of that. But, uh, worst comes to worst, they can use- Oh, I haven't shown you guys this room yet! Oh, how exciting! Okay, so I did remodel the bathroom just a little bit, um, for Vivian and then whoever her sibling is. But they have this beautiful little, like, balcony area, which is super sweet. I'll probably include, like, a few, uh, sitting areas and stuff, maybe an activity. But I went ham with this one. So since this is, like, a Jack and Jill bathroom sort of situation, well, kind of, uh, it's to where both children have access to it. I have on this side the main shower and stuff, and the, I made the color theme, uh, green. Oh, this is not lined up. I'll fix that later. Green and blue. Um, I did think about adding a lot of rose colored stuff and I probably will as she gets older, but it just like, I, her room's already going to be rose colored and stuff. So I didn't want to overkill it. And then this side's, this side's a little bit plain still, but that's okay. You got the toilet over here that like super nice toilet and everything is a bit more of a modern bathroom. Like you can definitely tell that like Callie and Ignis spent some time and like, Got a more modern upgrade, even though like the rest of their house is just like really barren, but the bathroom's nice, and I think that's the important thing. But we're gonna actually have Callie go ahead and get left. Did you already blue blue brew that serum? Oh my god, love, that was fast. Jeez. Okay, I might have you uh, brew another serum as well or synthesize it. Why am I saying brew? I I have like a potion mindset. I'm playing like a lot of Harry Potter and like that app. And then the other day I watched like, uh, well, what was it? Chamber of Secrets again. So like my mindset is in the Harry Potter world. And it's just, you know what makes me a little bit angry? Is that everyone's been saying like, oh, we need like an open world RPG Harry Potter. And it's like, yes, yes, we do. But like, we need it done right. And I don't think there's really a game company right now that can do that. And it's, it's a lot of pressure, too, to, like, take on the world of Harry Potter. Because the fan base is absolutely crazy. And, like, we know what we want. So if it's not done perfectly, like, that little mystery app that came out and that wasn't done super well. And people were just, like, livid over that little app. So, like, I can see the intimidation of creating a Harry Potter, like, open RPG. But it would be so cool to, like, attend school and, like, attend the classes and stuff. And, like, I'm describing real life, I realize. But, oh, oh, did you not, did you done fail? Oh, you broke it, you broke it. Oh my God. <laughs> but like, it would just be really cool. And sorry, this is a long tangent that I didn't mean to go on, but uh, look at that. And anyway, guys, I know this episode has been kind of weird and like a little bit all over the place, but uh, we're going to hopefully have the baby next episode and then uh, probably age up Vivian, at least into a child, so she can start working on those main skills that she needs. Or wait, is it teenagers that start having the main skills? I don't remember. But we're gonna start working on her skills and everything, and just kind of get her ready for, uh, ready to be our next, like, heir and stuff. The main, the main follower for this series. And I will talk to you guys in the next one, so until then, bye!